Good afternoon and welcome to Active Net Insights. Today we're talking to Neil Campbell from Octane Fitness. So Neil, how are you keeping at the moment? Are you all right? Very well, David. And how are you doing? Yeah, very good. Thank you. These types of things are keeping me sane, I have to say. I, I just I love that networking. I love getting talking to people, sharing good practice. So this is my way of, of being able to still do that in, in, a, in a lockdown period, effectively. So we're talking about ActiveNet Insights. So the first question really is, is why choose ActiveNet, Neil, from your point of view? What, what, what's the value of being an ActiveNet supplier? The value is quite clear, actually. It's, um, it's probably one of the clearest events to actually get an idea of value in that okay. you sit down and have X number of meetings, 14 meetings, and you know that some of those meetings will produce for you in the short term, some in the longer term, and some won't. But in fairness, you look at it and go, what have I got from this X right. period on? So from those 14 meetings, if they're new prospects in particular, where did that spark come from? What, mm. Where did it come from? It's then easy to relate back. More so than actually than say a trade show where there's people swarming everywhere. You might have two minutes with somebody, you might have an hour with somebody, but actually it's so easy to gauge. 14 meetings produced this. Excellent. So in terms so, of how you gauge it, yeah, it's very straightforward. Brilliant. So do you use a, a CRM system to help you measure that, for example? Um, we do have CRM systems um, within the company, but actually, again, it's simple. Octane is simple. ActiveNet, for me, is simple. There are 14 right. meetings. It's not, you're not looking at a trade show where you might have had 100, hundreds, mm. or whatever it might be. This is very simple. So when we first did ActiveNet with you a, a few years ago, we tested the water, we're trying it out. We wanted to get ourselves known to more people, which is where ActiveNet were great. We were impressed actually with how slick it was, how professional it was. Um, so that side of things was, was you could see, you could feel it. It was a good um, professionalism about the event. Then afterwards though, you simply have the 14 meetings to go, right, that one led to this, mm. this one didn't, but you can still evaluate it that the cost of X resulted in orders of. Brilliant. Um, right. what time. So very straightforward. Excellent, really good, thank you. And, and I guess for you guys producing fitness kit, the, the demand from the home market during lockdown has increased. Have you been able to cope with that demand? <laughs> it's a nice problem to have. Um, cope is um, an interesting um, word. We have lead times that have gone up, sales have gone up. So actually, um, so yes, that's been a nice situation. And if lead times have gone up because sales are so high, it's a good problem to have. No, so I'd rather have that situation than a few others that could arise of yeah. um, nobody wanting anything we have on offer. No, absolutely. So have you have you learned anything? Have you had are you are you changing your offering at all? What will you be talking to our, our buyers about when you come to uh, ActiveNet in March? Well, part of the reason actually touching partly on why we come to an ActiveNet is that actually Octane Fitness supply a lot of the big leisure centre operators. Mm -hmm. So we supply the everyone actives, the places, leisures, right. parkwoods, freedoms, fusions, etc. We supply some of these places, but actually there's still a lot of people who don't know what Octane Fitness do. Mm. Um, and that's where when you can have a one-to-one, -one, ideally at a table or, or whatever the setting might be, you can at least have a chance to have a chat. Um, hopefully they might have known something about you, but if they don't, it gives them a chance to mm. have a chat and see what's what. And one of the things then is that actually normally in a big room, it gives them a chance to get a chat with other people. Mm. David, you buy from Octane, are these guys any good? And actually that's invaluable because they meet you for the first time, if that's the case, and they don't know, is Octane any good? But actually that's where the bigger picture's always been part of it. But the, one of the things that's particularly come across with, um, with lockdown is that there's restricted budgets mm. for the operators. Now, Octane Fitness do just a limited range of product. So we don't try and do the whole gym. We're not about doing the, the full gym refurb. So we normally come along and we complement the main supplier. Yeah. Whoever the main supplier is, we come along and have something different. Mainstream, mass use, cardio, and it's normally either unique product or best in class. And actually what we find is that so far people have, who haven't got a spare six figure sum, mm that's a bit different what can they add that's going to be eye-catching and a typical octane order actually is smaller value um but for something that's unique cardio mass use mainstream but different mm -hmm. and what we try and use the time for in those meetings is to um a firstly 
learn what that operator may or may not be interested in. Are they interested maybe in GP referral? When we have products like a seated cross trainer that is ideal for GP referral mm. if that's something that that particular customer wants to look at. Or we look at our HIIT training products if it's a bit more studio or a bit more whatever. So one of the biggest things that we tended to do always is work alongside a main supplier providing minority of a gym. But now actually we are saying, hey, if you haven't got a spare, large figure, what can we do to give your gym a lift, give something noticeable, give something extra? And that's a key thing that we can just do a little something rather than replace the line of treadmills. Mm. <laughs> may or may not be the right thing to do for that facility. Sure. It's, it's really interesting. You talk about a marketplace there, the seated cross trainer, for example, so that you're more accessible to people who are less conditioned, maybe have mobility issues and that type of thing. Do you think there's going to be more demand for that type of equipment as we reopen in a post pandemic world? That's a very interesting question. Um, I mean, one of the biggest things that the government is saying is go and exercise more. Um, and I, <laughs> what, um, whether that means people going out for a walk or looking fit and healthy like yourself from all the exercise you've been doing outside um, or, or whatever it might be, it'll be interesting if people do go back to the gyms, uh, how fast and what they, what they were looking to do. But, but I sincerely hope with so much of the talk of the pandemic being about uh, the healthier you are, the, the less, uh, the lower your um, percentage of body fat, obesities, etc. are. I sincerely hope it's going to encourage some people maybe to go in who weren't a previous possible mm. gym. Um, so our seated cross trainer is an ideal case that it is used by a wide variety of people in the gym. GP yeah. referrals and deconditions is one of the markets that use it, but actually it's also used by the, the, the fully fit and raring to go as well. But mm. I certainly hope that, yes, once people can go back into gyms and have that confidence that it back that the country needs, but yeah, we'll get that sort of person into the gym. It's a friendly, easy product to get onto, to get into, um, and to get in part of the, uh, the workout options for a good wide variety of users. Mm. It's really interesting. I, I've got a view that that's the marketplace we should actually be promoting to using that type of equipment and that type of deconditioned customer, because my gut feel is that the, the gym bun is the 20 percenters will be coming back anyway. We don't need to promote them. We don't need to drive them into the marketplace. And by the sounds of it, your equipment works for everybody, which is just fantastic and therefore could be a focus for people's promotional campaigns going forward. So yeah, really interesting. Neil, thank you so much for your time today. Really looking forward to catching you at ActiveNet. Um, thank you for your time. Um, and if anybody's interested in Octane Fitness, we will put a link in the, the text to this uh, interview so that people can find you uh, both at LinkedIn and Twitter. So Neil, thank you very much for your time. You take care and hopefully- it's been an absolute pleasure. Person. Cheers. Thank bye you very bye. much. Thank you, bye-bye.